Chess friends, how are you? Hope you are good and today I will show you the another brilliant game between Dragon 4.6 and me. In this game I sacrificed my bishop, knight and the queen, I didn't get the opportunity to sacrifice my rook, I am sorry. Only a life lived for others is a life worthwhile, so let's go into the game, I started with d4, we have knight f6, c4 to control center squares, dragon played e6, this opening is played in Fide Championship 2023, you can watch these videos on my Fide Championship playlist. You can play East Indian defense or Nimtso Indian defense with bishop b4 as black. If you want to learn Nimtso Indian defense then you can go to my Mittens channel where my Mittens can share his chess openings strategy and chess tactics, link in the description you know, knight c3 and he played c5, so I get a chance to push the pawn, dragon played e6 to opening up the lines for the light square bishop, dark square bishop will go to the g7 square because the d6 pawn blocks the bishop lines, knight f3 g6 queen goes to a4 so bishop d7 to target it, queen b3 to target the pawn but dragon takes the center pawn, if you dare to take the b7 pawn then the bishop will come to the c6 square and he will push the d pawn to advance his center pawns and occupy the center, so I take the pawn with a pawn threat, bishop c8, but he could play b5 with bishop support, so bishop f4 to put pressure on the center pawn structure, the knight can create problems in the center in the future because it's the backward pawn. This means that he can only be protected by his pieces, so after bishop g7 I give a check on b5, any normal player would play queen d7 or knight d7 which would be a mistake, if knight here then I will win the backward pawn, same as queen d7, but in a different way, I mean after queen exchange. The knight and bishop will cause problems for black and I will get the pass pawn on d5, keep smiling, because life is a beautiful thing and there's so much to smile about, so in this position. Dragon is a stockfish subscriber so he played king f8, queen b3 and I want to make my center structure and h3, so queen e7 to get the file, h3 knight here e3 knight e8, to open up the diagonal for the bishop and knight, bishop b5 and we have h6 with threat of g5, a4 g5 bishop g3 a6 and we have first material exchanges on d7, queen takes b7 queen backs, castle, the knight is a very tactical piece in chess, he can create problems on this weak point, kingside army and the weak squares, which is why we have king g8, e4, f5 to strike in the center. I want to create some strategies for my position but how can I do it? The way to get started is to quit talking and begin doing, so I pushed the e-pawn, try to make a clear pass pawn on d5, we have rook b8 queen takes pawn and he played f5, blocking away the bishop line which is why I played e6 to target the bishop, both bishops are hanging, if you dare to take the bishop on g3 then after takes, takes and you may think. Wow, I win a pawn for free, no fool, nothing is free, I get the open file with open position for my rook batteries, rook h7 then I will sacrifice my knight on e5, bishop takes knight will lead a rook check on f8 so after d takes e5, we will play knight e4, knight c7 by black so queen g7, the knight is threatening to go to the f6 to fork your pieces, the bishop is pinned so you have to play knight takes d5 to protect it, then rook f7 will come to use the rank, queen takes a4 then we will sacrifice the rook. Rook takes b7, queen check king h8, and it will be a 200 elo rated simple checkmate on back rank king, game will be over so back to the position, here we have bishop c8 first to target the queen, queen runs to d3 and if you dare to take the bishop again, let me show you the variation because you won't understand the strategic combination of 20 moves, you can only count 2 or 3 moves because I think your brain has only 2 megabytes of ram, after takes takes rook takes b2 and after some move later we will play knight e4, rook b7 then I will sacrifice my knight by capturing the pawn, the position of the king is very insecure which is why I need a knight entry to destroy him, if you take it with your queen then the rook takes the queen will come, the bishop can't help because it's pinned, so if you play king f8 then knight h5 check king here rook f7, to target this piece with two pieces, rook h7 rook f1. The bishop is targeted by three pieces and the black pieces can't help the king properly because the king is insecure, so chess friends, if you want to become like me, 
Then you can like and subscribe to my YouTube channel where you will find educational content like no other. So back to the position, we have knight c7 and I sacrificed my first piece on f4, pawn takes rook e1 queen e7 rook to e4, bishop a6 queen d2, h5 h6 rook h6, to go to the f6 square. So I played rook takes f4 and we have rook exchanges on f6 square, queen c2 and the knight want to go on g5 to create problems on this powerful squares, rook f8 rook e1, and look at my position, my position is getting better move by move due to this brilliant pawn structure, the knight can create so many problems for black structure, and the king side, which is why I give up my bishop, pair to get two knights pair. The knight is always better in positions where knights can move frequently but black pieces cannot move frequently, so he give me a queen exchange offer, I show him my two-handed middle finger with knight e4, rook e8, knight g5 and look at my knights. They pose a lot of threats with this great center structure like a true leader, bishop d4 knight f7, my knight is creating two threats, threat number one, to fork the king and queen, threat number two, to fork the queen and rook. He tries to solve the problem with queen takes pawn, but he forgets that I am stockfish, god of chess universe and intelligence, I sacrificed, it's not rook, it's the knight, bishop takes f6, queen g6 check bishop, blocks knight h6 check. Bishop can't take it because of this and king can't go there because of mate in one, so after king here, knight f7 check, king g8 check king here, knight f5, threatening mate in one, so he played bishop e5, queen check, and after some moves later we have queen takes pawn, and I decided to sacrifice my queen on e8. Don't be afraid to give up the good to go for the great, knight takes queen, knight e7 check, King here and I win up my queen, bishop c8 c7 check, and I am totally winning here because I have big pawn army than him, and a rook, now enjoy the game with my brain power improving background music. Wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.